Hey there, this movie is designed to show you how to log in to a TDSB computer. It's kind of designed really for someone who's logging in for the very first time. You've never logged in before. Uh, and I'm going to show you what your username and password and how to figure that out is. If you had a, a password last year and you were able to log in, that password would probably work again and you might have to change it. But again, this movie is really for someone who's logging in for the very first time. When you log in to a lot of things, you need a username and a password. The same for using a TDSB computer. Your username is going to be your student number. Uh, your student number is a nine-digit number. Uh, you can get it from your teacher. It looks something like this. Or maybe it's something like this. You also need your password. Now, you may not believe this, but they've already made a password for you. It's your first password. And the thing is, though, it's kind of in a code. So you have to kind of figure out what is that code? How do you crack the code to figure out your very first password? Now, the code is made up of your student number, but not all your student number, just a bit of your student number. Plus, it, it's got the day you were born and also the month of you, you were born. So let's take a look. For example, let's say your student number is this, the day you were born is that, and the month you were born is in December. Now the first thing we need to do is turn December into a number. Of course, it's a 12th month, so it becomes a 12. If it was January, instead of just using a 1, we would use 0, 1. So you always have two digits for the day and the month. Okay? To figure out the code, you've got to take the last four numbers from your student number, stick it together with the day you were born, stick that on the end, stick the month you were born, and you end up with this kind of first password code. So to log in then, you'll use your username, which is your student number, and this code password that you just figured out. And that should get you in. Now, the very first time you do it, it's going to ask you right away to change it into a different password, and your teacher can talk to you about some different ways to come up with very good uh, private passwords. But good luck. I hope you're able to log in uh, to your TDSB computer.